In this lesson, I want to draw the blood vessels of the hepatic portal system. This is a system of veins uh, that will drain um, blood from the spleen, uh, large and small intestine. So as we go, quick little review of our, of our anatomy here, everything will be going through to the liver. We have the spleen and we have the large intestine. So with that base level anatomy, let's begin trying to draw these vessels in. We'll begin with the vena cava, and the vena cava will be coming in and passing through the liver. So I'm going to draw it thusly in purple, and normally we would color that in in lab, but I'm not going to mess with doing that at this point. And let me draw coming off of it as it passes through. Let me put a couple little dashed lines so that we know that it is passing through here. Now, Coming off of the vena cava, we will give all these branches known as hepatic branches. So the hepatic branches, the hepatic veins, will come off of the vena cava inside the liver. Now, continuing from there, that is all we really have to worry about with the liver on the top part. Now, in blue, I'm going to draw in the hepatic portal vein. I'm going to bring it down and cut it off. Now, this is a little bit more accentuated, drawing it larger just for clarity purposes the hepatic portal vein in blue. Now, there are three branches, three main branches that we need to know at the human anatomy and physiology two level. And that is, uh, uh, these three branches, we'll begin with the first one, and the first one is the superior mesenteric vein. Superior mesenteric vein, I'm going to come down, we're going to give a loop up, and it will supply blood to the colon, and I'm just going to fill him in a little bit more. And it will give all branches the small intestine. But we really can't see that. But we do, not supplying, but draining the colon. Uh, as nutrients come from the intestines, they will come into uh, the mesenteric vein. This is the superior mesenteric vein. The inferior mesenteric vein will come down behind the colon. And I'll give it a loop down this way, and let me give it a little bit of a thickness here. Got a little too thick on this side, and it will give off branches to the colon here. Now, it's a little harder to draw this on the iPad than it is to draw in on, on the board. Now, lastly, in orange, we have veins that will be draining the spleen. Sorry, I hit orange, and it didn't want to pick it up. Here we go. And we have branches going from the spleen, the splenic vein, and I'll give off its small little branches. Highly vascularized is the spleen. So we have a splenic vein in orange, an inferior mesenteric vein in red, a superior mesenteric vein in green, and the hepatic uh, portal or the hepatic portal vein in blue. And then we have purple, the vena cava, as its inferior vena cava, passing through the liver and in gray, the hepatic veins. Blood will drain from the colon and small intestines into, into these vessels. Blood drains in there into both the superior and inferior mesenteric veins to go to the hepatic portal vein. Blood also drains from the spleen as it will give off, um, as we know now, the spleen is used in uh, um, uh, the immune system. Now, as a quick, just to kind of let you guys know, if you've ever kind of looking at this and you understand uh, uh, the base level anatomy here, some of the problems that we will deal with, that you guys will deal with in healthcare. Uh, so this is what we call portal cable hypertension. If you get uh, blood backing up in these portal cable veins, veins of the hepatic portal system, um, it will, if it backflows into the splenic vein, you'll get what's called splenomegaly. And you also can get problems such as uh, coming from the mesenteric veins, uh, blood backflowing into there can cause hemorrhoids. So just understanding some base level anatomy can give you guys a good understanding of some common pathologies you will deal with. But this, uh, th this, has, this puts an end to the video on uh, the blood vessels of the hepatic portal system. Thank you.